third and final game is The Zoo, which impressively comes with the source code. Interesting. All the music is here, the whole source code, everything is right here, so I, I could pick this up, but if I'm... Oh, it's got a readme text file! Thank you! I love it when games do this. Christopher Fourlines. Fourlines? I'm not sure which one's the correct pronunciation, but I already like you more because of the readme file. This is a short max game that continues the S1E25, the original Twilight's own episode series. The what now? The original series didn't have follow-up episodes, but I felt episode fit in this thing well and watched them in. Huh? If I haven't seen Twilight Zone, am I going to be confused? I'm probably going to be confused anyway. As I have to hunt down how to perform some tasks and most answers were found in a 17-year-old forum post using deprecated code, I decided to do as many things in this game as I could and release the source code as sort of sample example for anyone looking to perform certain tasks in AGS 361. Huh. Interesting. I have questions, but also, int it's a very interesting concept to start off from somewhere. I'm thrown off by the whole Twilight Zone thing. You are about to enter another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land of imagination. Next stop, the Twilight Zone. Pretty sure you don't have the right to this audio, though, even though it's a fan project. I'm not sure how that works. Bit of a gray area. Ooh. That's a lot of dithering right there. Uh, oh, we're actually using proper cursor modes. Earth creature in its natural habitat. Oh, I'm in the zoo. I'm in the display. Samuel Conrad. People are alike all over. Well, Sam, how do we get out of this one? These are the observation doors. On the other side are bars and a gaggle of onlookers here to see the newest exhibit. Me. Let's get some scotch. It's a very pronounced walk cycle. Ooh, we even get score. Huh. Oh, wow. This is nice. Did that piece of paper just appear from there? It reads, Samuel, I'm so very sorry for what they have done to you. I wanted to tell you that what was happening, but I didn't want to put you in any danger. I want to help you, but they have forbidden me from seeing you. There is a way to escape your pen. If there is an emergency, the maintenance door will unlock and let the handlers in. Once the doors are unlocked, you can sneak out and make your way to the main exhibit area. I'll be waiting for you. Tina. Introducing the Samuel A. Conrad 31 Biologist Earthling. Currently 168 million miles from the place of his birth, Mr. Conrad fights himself residing within a cell adorned with all the furnishings and comforts of home. In a few moments, one Mr. Samuel A. Conrad will be given a chance to escape from his luxury prison and perhaps the Twilight Zone. I'm really digging this, like, grayscale UI thing. The way the buttons highlight and everything. That's good. Pack of cigarettes. Read the note here. That was really nicely done. Oh dear, after these games. Yeah, this is the last of the Max games. We can play some Oh dear after this is done.
A pair of modern gas burners. I'm guessing we can now take our cigarettes and use them on the burners. One government issue regulatory compliant non addictive tobacco substitute. Oh, it's not even a real cigarette. Porcelain sink. Yeah, black and white graphics is a really cool idea. And all the dithering work is really nice, too. I'm guessing it's done this way to invoke the Twilight Zone episode, which is what I was trying to find out. Okay, hold on. There's a rug. Can I light it on fire? No. Can I take some books? Okay, I'm, I see where this is going. We're gonna have to cause a fire. This door does not lead anywhere, and that there is a messed up overlay. The walk area goes too far up here, and you haven't set any walk behind. Pretty standard rookie mistake. You probably would have wanted to cut the uh, walk walkable area up here, down lower. I've done that. It's a very easy mistake to make. Okay, hold on. So, let's grab some unreadable books. If I put them in the fireplace or on the rod? No. Can I put it on the burner? to light it on fire. The book appears to be fire resistant. Oh. Why do I have a talk verb? Who do I talk to in this game? Okay, so the books can't be burned. So my initial theory of we're supposed to cause a fire here is out of the picture. Am I supposed to burn the note? The note burned up too quickly to set off any alarms. Okay. Well, now I don't have the note anymore. I have a lit cigarette and an unreadable book. Oh, wait! Am I supposed to douse the book in scotch? Yes. And then light it on fire? I now have a burning book in my pocket. Don't ask how that works. I'm now going to put it on the rug. Now to find a place to hide. Save. Can I hide in the fridge? Behind the fridge? Is this hidden? Time to make our escape. There's a crate. Is there anything in it? Metal rod. My nebbage. Oh, I can bar them in there. There. They can't get out now. Hello, lady. Okay. There's more to this. So what happens now? They've fixed your ship. You can take it and return to Earth. Will you come with me? 
Do you believe I would be treated any better on Earth than you were here? No. You are correct. What did they do to Markison? I have no idea who Markison is. A primitive Earth vessel used for exploring the solar system. They stuffed and mounted Marcus. Is it Marcusson or Markison? I don't know what to do with the lit cigarette. Lady, would you like a cigarette? There's an exit door back here. Now doomed to wander the unfamiliar world alone, Samuel A. Conrad has become a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. Wait, was I supposed to take my spaceship and go? <laughs> I probably was. Hold on. Load game. Let's let's see if we can go back. Can I take my ship? So first we bar the door again. Oh, I was supposed to talk to Lady. Don't. Dude. Stop. Oh. Okay, we skipped the Lady. <laughs> now returning to Earth with the knowledge that man is not alone in the universe. That all creatures on all worlds are built from the same blueprints. And that no creature, despite their intelligence, is about ignorance of that most basic desire of life. Freedom. Samuel A. Conrad, 31, biologist, earthling, and for now, escapee from the Twilight Zone. This was really nicely done. Like, this, this is very good. For all its simplicities, it's a solid little game to be made in such a short time and with, the, with that restriction of a, of a grayscale palette. Nice! Very good! I'm impressed! I kind of want to see some old Twilight Zone episodes. This is, this is inspiring me as well to take a look into those. I feel they probably have aged quite poorly, but... Eh, why not? That was very, very good! I think that was easily the best of the three. Clap, clap. Nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all the three Max games.